The conclusions that I took from the group work were that the use of barriers is a key theme in the film Crime Games. We identified the tangible and intangible barriers and tracked them through a film sequence. Barriers are placed to separate two spaces. Barriers are intersection points which are often conflicting. I concluded that to fully understand the architecture, I must track how the occupants interact with and engage with the barriers. So then my concept and sort of development of my, my thinking surrounding barriers was that the number of interactions with barriers is endless, but most of these interactions are not visible and we're not really aware of them. Um, I explored the notion of a barrier-free room based on a Mobius strip, um, which has its own hidden barrier connecting it. Um, so it's sort of invisible barrier. The methodology I applied to my drawing is that I need to illustrate the time base as well as the spatial experience of the room in order to track how the occupants interact with the barriers in the room. Unlike architectural barriers, filmic barriers are malleable, elusive, imprecise, exaggerated, symbolic and biased. I applied a forensic approach to analyse the interactions between the barriers and the inhabitants of the room. The protagonist acts as a barrier to the camera, so I tracked her movements through the prison scene and then superimposed, dissected and distorted these frames. Um, this resulted in a reconstruction of her as a barrier to the camera um, and gives a different perspective. I recognise that these interactions with barriers are very intimate and they induce emotional, spiritual, mental and or physical reactions by the inhabitants. We often interact with barriers unconsciously and leave temporal traces heedlessly. What does my room do? My room tracks the movements and interactions the inhabitants have with barriers. Why does my room do this? My room does this to arouse a greater awareness and consciousness for the occupants about how they interact with the barriers in the space. My room accommodates and mitigates the spread of coronavirus by tracking people's proximity and interactions within a public meeting place. Meeting people is near impossible due to coronavirus and the need for social distancing. My room functions as a safe symposium where groups of people can safely congregate. To me, the present scene within the film is a metaphor of lockdown um, as we feel like prisoners within our own home. Um, but kind of uh, paradoxically, by looking at the design layout of this prison scene, we can help people feel the opposite and give people more freedom again. My room can be installed within the public realm in order to minimise public interactions. Um, this would be essential in diverse areas like waiting rooms within train stations, as these areas are at higher risk of spreading COVID-19 due to the transition spaces, which are very busy and diverse, um, and therefore have lots of people interacting within the spaces. I am looking at Great Victoria train station in Belfast. This is one of the busiest train stations in Belfast where lots of people gather and travel through on a daily basis. The narrative of the room. The room endlessly informs the new occupants of the previous occupants' movements and interactions within the room so that future occupants can navigate and avoid these areas, uh, minimising uh, contact with other people. This cycle is endless, as traces are temporal. As new traces appear continuously every time someone else occupies the room, um, gradually older traces disappear. How my room records the temporal traces. My room exaggerates and enriches traces left behind by inhabitants using overt smart materials like thermochromic paint and memory foam. 
The room tracks the number of people in the room using pressure sensors that monitor the weight of people on the floor. Um, it monitors the moisture levels, um, the temperature within the room and the bacteria on the surfaces. My room then responds to these traces accordingly using four mechanisms that open and or close barriers in order to control circulation and interaction of visitors. First, the floor bridge rotates, creating a void between two, the two spaces um, and a bridge when it's safe to cross. Second, the glass curtain wall slides um, to one side or the other, depending on which room, it, which direction it thinks the participants should go. Third, um, the stairs pop in and out of the walls to restrict access to different levels, depending on where the safest place to be. Lastly, different tables fold out of the walls, um, so different groups of people um, don't need to touch the same surfaces. Um, yeah, they, they alternate. So linking back to Belfast, um, I've been looking at the Belfast Peace Walls, which are obviously a very significant barrier. The Peace Walls track and record memories and contain a plethora of different traces. I am currently analysing the hierarchy of these traces. My site would be in a public, diverse place within Belfast. I'm particularly interested in Great Victoria train station.